Bit, bit, Bitsy and Whipper. My wife and I had a great chat. There's a, a really, really good podcast, and we love these two. I mean, Cameron Daddo and Alison Bray Daddo. We love those two. Mm-hmm. They have a great podcast on the Nova Entertainment podcast, which is called Separate Bathrooms. And it's parenting and all this kind of stuff. And it's not very often I get to sit down with my wife and talk about this stuff. Yeah. Mm. Unless it's just between us two. Quite often you learn by having these conversations on a podcast. Don't you? You learn about you, you learn about your wife, you learn about yourselves as a couple. Whip, I did. Yeah. That was, that's a really good point because I was actually, I was really impressed with my wife mm. and she I think she's a better parent than I am. Oh, no, that's what you learned. So that's what I learned. <laughs> okay. there, there was another, I want to talk about this because I'm really shattered as a parent. Oh, it's like I'm announcing it. Mm. Go ahead with your big announcement, man. Does he tap your coffee cup? Um, so I, I, I'm just shattered as a parent that I'm not going to be able to go through that stage in life where my son's friends call me Mr. Fitzgerald. Well, you want that title? I want that title. So why not? Because I don't think kids do it anymore, Sarah. But isn't it just then up to the parent? Like, do you tell your kids they're at the right age to be doing it, going to friends' houses? Do they address other parents by that title? No, we 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 fully teach our kids manners and etiquette, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And it's your please and thank yous and looking people in the eye if they're talking to you. But I've never taught my kids that with your friends you have to call them Mr. Smith or Mrs. Brown or whatever. So do you hear them calling? No, like- they don't. They don't do it. Okay. It's a funny one, isn't it? Mm. Because well, you know you'd also hear when you. You used to do it as a kid. You'd say, "Hi, Mister Fitzgerald," and they'd go, "Oh, don't call me that. That's my dad." Yeah, they don't. That's my old man. You don't call me that. Mm. But we kind of had the general rule growing up that if someone hadn't invited you to say, "Call me Steve," yeah. then it was Mister Smith. So if in doubt, you went with Mister and Missus. That was sort of the rule we had. So nine times out of ten. You'd be going, hi, Mrs. McGilvray. Yes. How are you? Do you think that sort of died off a bit as well because you don't call a home phone? Because it was always bit. the, hi, Mrs. Whitfley, is Michael home? Yeah, yeah. Got, yeah. Sort of thing, whereas you don't do that. Now it's just you talk to the kids, so yeah. you probably don't think to address but adults You'd also say there's been a... There's been a blend or a merging or or a um, a tighter link between parent and kid. It was always a clear divide, and I think now it's closer than ever before. It's why it, ma- it's all, it makes it more crucial for the parent to make sure their parenting role still exists for the kids, yeah. but the kids are closer and probably share more than they did in traditional times. Well, it's I, I agree. It, things have changed now, and I would love to hear from any kids out there that if you do you call your friends mum and dad Mr. and Mrs. Mm. I want to know if there's any kids out there that actually do it because I don't think there are any more. I mean, it's even with, you know, like BJ's ne- ne- nieces and nephews yep. don't call her Auntie Belinda. They just call her what? They just call her BJ. Yep. See, I, I, we don't do the uncle, auntie. Don't, don't you? Only when they're little to try and get them to understand the relationship. But outside of that, Sometimes yes, sometimes See, growing no. up, mum and dad's best friends, we used to call them auntie and uncle, and right. they weren't my auntie and uncle. Right. No. Well, just, see, there you and, go. And I still call them Uncle Dennis and Auntie Jen. Just as a term to bring them closer. Yeah, it's just a, a term of endearment, yeah. I suppose, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Our kids have started referring to us as Sarah and James, so they'll just say, Sarah, come here, we need something. Do you I'm know, like, <laughs> what? Do you know Sarah, why that happens? Listening. When kids... Yeah. Kids get sick of their mum and dad not answering or listening totally. to the term mum and dad. Totally. That's when the main name comes into yeah. play, yeah. Sarah. Or see, when they go to school and tell a story about you that you don't mm, want the teacher to have heard, they say Sarah see did that, this. That's the tipping point for me. If I hear a kid call their parents by their first name, yeah. I'm like, no, they, there's no respect there Even at all. Even though you oh. would do it now. like, the, How weird is it going to be the day? And I, when I ring dad, I go, John, what's going on? How weird is it going to be the day Ted calls me and he says, Michael? Oh, mate, you would lose go, Whoa, it. Whoa, I'm would lose dad. It. I'm your dad. Yeah. And I will always be dad. I'm not, imagine if he, he's down at the pub and he rings, Mick, <laughs> come no. and get me. But then why do you do it to John? Great question. I don't know. You Just do as you get older. You yeah, take. Actually, you do I call do call him, him John I, I and I call s- mum Steenie. Because Christine. I have never called my father by his first name. Have you? It's always been Dad. How are yeah. you, Dad? Yeah, no, he's big John to me. Mia's on the line from Hunters Hill. How old are you, Mia? I'm 15, Bitsy. Okay, and and what are your thoughts on it? What are your parents told you, and what do you what what do you address your friends' parents? So anytime I anytime I go to my friends' house, I always say Miss Hi Mrs. or Hi Miss mm. Smith, for example. My mum's always said that, and yep. unless you're told 
oh no, as you said on the show, it's the oh, don't call me that. My dad's name, that's my mum's name, etc. Yeah, that's how. That's what I've been taught. Okay, you know, All right. I understand. I understand clearly what you're saying, Fitzy, about like how some kids don't do it, but I think you always should. Yeah, yeah I got what I said. Well said, man. Mum being a kindergarten teacher, she's so hard and fast on this, but she says nicknames yeah. don't transfer through generations. So a mate of mine... Oh, right. So Because Huey yeah. was asking me, am I going to be Fitzy? Am I going to be Fitzy? And Dad, I said, probably, yeah. Dad was a whippy, but then he's got a mate who got sacked from oh. like three jobs. Whippy. And he was called... Mr. Um, whippy. Slacker. The original. So we still know this guy's Slacker. So th- will, Dad's will the, mate was called Slacker. So will his kids be known as Slacker? No, Son more that he slacker. doesn't want my kid. He, Sauce. It shouldn't be me calling him Slacker. Like a mate of mine, the Dazzler, he calls me, he calls me horse balls, right? <laughs> So, this is a weird thing. So who will get that? No. Who will that be handed down but to? His, Jack Francesca. Or his kid, who's seven years old, when I see him, yeah. he goes, how are you, horse balls? Oh, oh, and no mum says that is a oh. no. Like, she oh. says that is a disgrace. Where'd that come from? Where'd no way. No, no, really hard to say. Oh. Big fan of the GGs. Oh. <laughs> okay, Lu- <laughs> Lucrezia's given us a call from Campbelltown. What do you still call your friend's parents, Lucrezia? Mr. Scott, I'm 60 years old and he is 94 years old and I still call him Mr. Scott. Yes. That's that generation. He wasn't a teacher at all? No. In fact, he was a, a very high-up engineer with Qantas. And I think at those times it was a sign of respect. Mm. I agree. And I'm agree. with Fitzy. We still have people that we call aunties that were not related to us either. They were a good friend of my parents. Mm. It's yes. funny, isn't it? Because then we find, and you t- talk about a term of respect yeah. to call somebody uh, by their correct title or their more formal title, yeah. but then you have moments like when we have politicians in mm. and you know, we call we them SCOMO. Are you SCOMO or are you Prime Minister? Where's that level of respect? Is the, is the respect there, though, to call the Prime Minister Prime Minister? Yes. When I worked or at Mr. 2GB, Morrison? you would never say a first name. Do you know what Prime happened? When Premier. Wow. T- Whereas we do that, Oi, Scotty, what's yeah. up? Tell you when I got told off was that time when we interviewed Julia Gillard in the UK. Mm. Now, to add a little bit of further detail, we'd been at a very long lunch when the interview came through at the last minute and we yeah. raced, we raced to meet... the fat dark. Yeah, raced to meet Julia Gillard for a quick chat. And Dad heard me call her Jules in the interview. Oh. He rang and he said, that is not how you refer to the Prime yeah. Minister. Ooh. Big John wasn't happy about that. Space Getty. Mm-hmm. He was all over it, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's, so good it's, on your horse balls. Look, I think it's being phased out. I think through generation to generation, Mr. Mm-hmm. and Mrs. is gone. I think Arnie and Uncle's starting to die out but, as well. But you'd like to be Mr. Fitzgerald. Well, the other thing is, well, whenever I see an elderly man, I call him Sir. And yeah. you know what? You know what? That doesn't always work. I, I get elderly men that get upset by that. Don't call me Sir. They don't Why? like it. They don't like it. I'm I'm not I'm not a sir. We call our te- we just call our teachers sir. And then the, the other contentious one, and Tommy Williams texts me. He loves this all the time. But I call older women love. You do. Yeah, that don't. There's do a that. lot of them it, that don't like that. You don't, don't do just love. say it to older women, Fitzy. You no, do you it do it, it to office. anyone. Yeah. You, you, yeah, I do it to everyone in the <laughs> office, don't I? Remember when you ref- remember when you called Lachlan Murdoch's son? <laughs> <laughs> Good on your son. We went. There's only one man that calls him son. One of the most powerful men in the world. But you go ahead. Fitzy and Whipper.